seen out of your, your guys up front so far? I think we're definitely making progress, but you know, like everybody said, I'm sure you have a long way to go before where we want to be. But the key is at this point of the year, number one for me, are we developing the right mindset in terms of work ethic and toughness? Are we, are we building that physical mindset? And then number two, just learning how to play the game. With, with some new things going in offensively and a lot of new players being injected in, into all of our groups. We're just trying to teach those guys how to play ball at this level, not only the system, but how to do things. And, um, you know, it's been, it's been up and down, but I, I, I think we are making progress. We hear the word garbage a lot. How, how different is that for you guys up front to, to, to kind of make, especially with guys kind of figuring out where they fit into? Well, you know, it's like learning a foreign language, you know. Um, everything is new initially. Um, but one of the things that I think Coach Luff has tried to do a good job of is, is with the verbiage, create a system that makes sense to the players. There are some systems where you just have to memorize words and it's pure rote memorization. Blue means this, or Navajo means this, and you just have to know it. There are others where certain words are somewhat descriptive, and where that really helps is when you're installing the system and when new players come in. So when we have these brand new freshmen come in this um, summer, that will certainly help them in fall camp. So there is a lot of new verbiage, and there there are a lot of new things that these players are having to learn. But I think we've we've done the right thing by trying to install it slowly and give them a chance to learn it and gain confidence. I, I, the, the two young guys, the two freshmen, I, are, are they picking things up? They are. They're also getting an introduction to college football, which is good for them. <laughs> but they're both good kids. They're both sharp guys that are eager and want to learn, and I think they'll both be fine with some time. What about the red shirt guys? Um, Really impressed um, at this point with Greg and Christian. You know, I think having them with us last year helped them. Even though the system is different, if you're running power, you're still running power play. That's that's not different. And so some of the schemes that we're doing, there's carryover from what we did last year, and, and their understanding of my expectations and how I would teach a certain technique. That's far beyond where it would be had they not been with us last year. When I say with us, meaning they're on the ready list, they're traveling, they're being prepared to play. But I've also been impressed with their desire and their want to, and those two guys have got, have got a lot of things going for them, but especially their work ethic and toughness and their willingness to try to, to, try to play the game the right way. How far O'Reilly a little further behind, having not been um, with you guys. Yeah, he's not he's not where those guys are right now. How far have you seen the, the centers come with that center quarterback exchange? The we're getting there, but we're still not there. And uh, you know, it's a combination of things. Um, it's it, it it can be a lot of things um, that can affect something as simple as a center quarterback exchange when the, when when his hands are under. Um, but I think we're, we're getting to the point where we're more comfortable with it, but we're certainly not there yet. We've still got some balls on the ground in practice at times, but we're getting there. Can you explain from a center standpoint how big of an adjustment that really is? To it's not that big. If you were going big. the other way, it is a big adjustment. If you, were, if you were primarily under center and then all of a sudden you were going to be in a shotgun half the time, that's a huge adjustment. But if you've been a shotgun team and then you're going to become a team that plays under center, it's not a big adjustment for the center. It's much harder for the quarterback because the fundamentals and his footwork become much, much more important for him to drive away from the line of scrimmage at the proper angle. His footwork there becomes as important as an offensive line when you get guards pulling in front of him and backs crossing and all that sort of thing. It's much more challenging for the quarterback, which can sometimes affect the snap, but sometimes the center can screw it up too. That being said, do you expect the centers to really have that down from their end of it by the end of spring ball? Absolutely. Talk about uh, Chad Slay's offseason and then what you've seen him through the first four packs. I think Chad has continued to make um, steady progress, I would say. Um, you know, it, it probably set him back a little bit last year playing a couple of different positions, but at the same time, it gave him game experience and made him more versatile. And I think he's certainly further along now than he was even mid-season last year. Um, 
but I think he's playing with more confidence and more knowledge right now, and I think he'll, I think he'll continue to progress, and I look for him to have a good season. Chad's more comfortable on the outside, right, playing tackle. I think he, I think there are certain parts of his game where he's more comfortable outside, somewhere he's more comfortable inside. He's really one of those guys that I would describe as a tweener. He's, he's a guy that really can play either position, um, but he got a lot of experience at guard last year. And we'll give him more experience at tackle this spring, and we'll see how it all shakes out when we get our freshman here in the fall. Reese talked about kind of doing some different things as a center, pulling and doing some different things. He's a guy that's transformed his body some, too. How he, different is he this spring? He's probably um, made the biggest change of anybody that we have. You know, Number one, you know, starting as, as a true freshman in the SEC as center is, a, is an enormous task. And he got an introduction to SEC football last year. But he hung in there, and I thought got better as the year went on. But now he's a guy that steps into the huddle with confidence. You know, um, He's a guy that... His body has changed. He's leaner, he's stronger, he's quicker, he's more confident. I think he's healthier too. He played all of last year banged up, one place or another, most of the time multiple places. And so I think he's just in a much better place physically and mentally right now. I've been very impressed with the start of his spring. As an offensive line coach, there's been a lot of talk about being physical, running the football, getting under center, two back sometimes. How exciting is that for you? You know, that, like I said, what we're doing at times isn't all that different than what we have been doing, but I think it's always something an offensive lineman wants to be able to do is the way, the way we talk about it some is there are times in a game when you got to be able to run the football when everybody knows you're running it, and those kind of things help you do that. If you're under center, maybe you got more people on the field or more people blocking at the point of attack, whatever the case may be. I think it puts you in a position where it gives you more options as an offense. And so I think our guys are excited about the direction of it. But, you know, a lot of the things that we're doing um, are different, but a lot of them are the same too. So I think, I think there's some give and take with it. But our guys are, I think, very much excited about the direction that we're going and being able to blend the combination of Offensive styles is going to be good for us. And have you seen Reese take more of a leadership role yeah. with that one year? Yeah. And he's a natural leader, so I expect to see even more of that. Uh, how critical is it that he does that, being that he's in the center of the line? Um, it's not essential, but it's best. <laughs> you, know, uh, you don't have to have a leader in your center position. I've been on teams where we didn't, but the teams that I've had where a center was a leader, I think it's best because that guy has to be so vocal in your offense. And I think he's a guy that, that will end up being one of the best leaders on our team at some point. And you know, I'm trying to encourage him to do that now. He's moving in that direction for sure. Have you had any conversations with him about that very topic of, of taking on that leadership role? Not just him, but yeah. Uh, I think he's comfortable with it. Good. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.